Okay, this is Mr. Bandy, and I would like to go over a few things as far as getting into Google Docs so that you can uh, get your assignments. Uh, first of all, you have you have a Google account that is set up, and to get into this Google account, you have to first use your first name, ID, at refers.net. And this just stands for your ID number. It's your student number is what that is, student number. Okay? So don't get that confused with having to put that symbol in there. That's not the case. It's just going to be your first name and your student number. I'm trying to get this situated so that you guys can see it. There you go. So I have an example right here. For instance, my name is David. Here is a fictitious or just a fake number I came up with at refers.net. Okay, so I would go to Google. And up here I can just type in Google real quick and it'll take me right there. And I'd sign in. Now, for for I'm just going to pretend like I need a new, another account, okay? So right here, I'd David dot eight 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 three two one four at ruffers dot net, and I'd hit next. Now it's not going to let me because that email don't exist out there, okay? But if it did, the next thing to come up would be my password. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my actual account now. Okay, and then I'm going to put my password in here. And my password is just like your password. It's birthday. Okay, now once I'm logged in, you should see, I've got a picture over here. But you should see your email address right over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click. And I'm going to just say classroom. Go ahead and click on the Google Classrooms. And if you were a student, um, you'd probably have to click on a plus button, which should show up somewhere in here. And it probably has got a, a little annotation saying, join your first classroom. Um, and once you get a classroom up here, then the next thing you do is just click on it and you could join the other classroom that uh, is available. Like, for instance, let's join a classroom. And so uh, you will need to get the code from Mr. Bandy to put in here. And it's going to be some code similar to uh, I don't know why that popped up again. I already had it open. Right here is a code. This happens to be the code for my uh, fifth hour. So you need to put in the proper code for your hour. And you need to ask me uh, what that code is. You don't want to get in the wrong hour. That would just not be any good. <laughs> So that's where you would enter the code. And then once you're there, uh, you have one of these up on your desktop. And then you can go to the class. And it just so happens that we have our first couple assignments. Now, the, the one that you're going to fill out is the worksheet. So I'm going to click on that. And this is what it's going to look like when it first pulls up. Now, I'm not able to do anything, okay? I can't do anything here. I actually have to open it in Google Docs. And then I am able to highlight the area that I want to put the answer in there. And I'll just go ahead and give you the first answer. Never throw any tools or materials. And you'll need to open up the other file to be able to find this information. And the information is here in this other PDF file. And you'll have to scroll through to find the answers to the worksheet. And that is all. Thank you.